Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. We are back today on a Monday Live here on Facebook group Stamp a Blessing to stamp, to cheer the brokenhearted and also to connect all of my friends to Jesus. That is my passion, that is why I stamp and I am super excited that you are here today with me. I received the new Paper Pumpkin Kid Bouquet of Hope. I was gonna say bouquet of love. It has to love too. <laughs> but it, it is a bouquet of hope and I am super excited to open it with you. I received several boxes and never opened them, but I have a cool idea to start with the stamp. So hopefully you join me in this stamping time and you start using what you have at hand, okay? Start saying hello, let's go stamp. I'm gonna turn my camera around. And I got my new paper pumpkin bouquet of hope and I am going to start opening it with everybody today. It is a good day. It is snowing here in Pennsylvania again. Hello. This never stopped, right? Apparently it won't stop. So I will just enjoy the snow. We get to stay home today <laughs> again. <laughs> but honestly, I don't mind. I am an indoorsy. I love being home. And uh, either even though I'm an extrovert and I love people, I love having time home and relaxing and well who says relaxing i'm always working and doing different things if it's not crafting it's with the kiddos but here is our new kit so i want to open it for those who have not seen it oh look at this <laughs> Woo, first of all let me share this beautiful stamp and i'm so excited because i knew we we're gonna have some sort of okay and one of my subscribers actually got the kit before me and sent me some um, some pictures of it. I was so excited. Thank you, Mari, because it really blessed me uh, knowing that we were going to have such a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Hello, there it is. So it also has a, let me use this so you can see it better, but it has a sorry for your loss. It also has a sentiment that says sharing in your sorrow, thinking of you and wishing I could be there to hold your hand. That is beautiful, beautiful. And then we have I will always be here for you and it has some little flowers and some little petals. They look like petals that could be also leaves, I guess. You could use this and put some nice leaves on them. I like that. I like that a lot. It, it comes with a wonderful stamping spot, Mossy Meadow. Love Mossy Meadow. Haha, -ha, I didn't know that. So let me put this on this side. And then we have a nice promotion that says four free stencils with a Here's to You Paper Pumpkin kit. This is the one coming next month in the month of March. So spare this pack of pretty stencils with March's March Majestic Mountain Theme Kit. Then save the, re the set for future stamping. Definitely. Those are nice stencils we're going to be getting and i love that look it's going to come with a sponge as well so don't miss that oh look at this <laughs> so pretty have mercy these are some samples of uh with this kit but i think this is an alternate because uh, what paper pumpkin did is that they coordinated this beautiful kit with the flower and field designer series paper that you will see today here with me i already have it around and this is a celebration item that coordinates with this kit, but you can only get it until February 28th. That is only in about what day? Six days until Sunday if you place an order of $50 or more. So those 12 sheets of the center search paper you can get for free with a $50 order in my store. Anyhow, let's open this quickly because I want to start stamping. So I'll go through this super fast because I have not seen it yet, okay? And, um, and after we go through it super fast, I'm going to start stamping, giving you three different ideas with the new stamp that we have here. I cannot wait. I think those that bouquet of flowers looks amazing. So I'll put my box on the side and I'll bring this in. Ha -ha. Oh, look how cute that is. Absolutely beautiful. It says bouquet of hope instructions. And I believe this kit is actually in different um, different languages for what I can tell. I love that. Let me see who else is here. If you're coming in, just say hello. Hello. I don't see any of your comments, so I am not totally sure if you are able to comment for some reason, but it is good to see you all no matter what. Here I go. This one says, sorry for your loss. This one says, thinking of you. And this one says, um, I'll always be here for you. And it has all those. Let's open it really cool here. If somebody can say hello, just comment down there. If not, I'll get a little nervous that nobody can come in and say a word. 
I see that it says that Jennifer is here. Let me stop for a second, but I don't have any. It says Jennifer is watching. That's what it tells me, Jen, but it doesn't say any, um, any comments. That is really weird. I don't see any comments from any of you. So hopefully you are able to connect with me. Ha! Okay, let's keep opening all of this. Ooh, it comes with some nice little dots. It also comes with some sequins. Ooh, those are the adhesive ones. And I, I don't know, I need to put a little closer to my eyes. I think those are black. Yeah, I think those are black. I thought they may be mossy metal, but they look like they're black. Let's see. Yeah, they're black and they're beautiful. Okay, so we have some black shiny sequins and some mossy metal um, linen thread in there. Love when they come with the, with the dimensionals, always. Oh, look at this. This is really nice because it looks a lot like the paper that we are getting with the flower and field designer stretch paper. Oh, this is mossy metal, so we get three three and three so i'm guessing we can do nine cards with this set that is a beautiful color i will check what color this particular one is in a minute now we have different um thinking of you and then we have two different languages that i have no idea what they are so if any of you know let me know but i guess this this kit is going to different nations or we are encouraged to send to different nations. Those are beautiful. They look like doilies. Haha, <laughs> I can use this in my scrapbooking. So you may see me doing something because this is too cute. Then we have three of this wonderful, wonderful um, cards in here. Yes, let me see here. Oh, that's beautiful. That is vellum with a frame. It's like a vellum frame right there. I have this beautiful, they, it looks like Rococo Rose. I'm going to check what colors I'm, I'm having in this nice set. But this is a card base. And this is wonderful. It looks like either Cherry Cobbler or Mary Merlot. Let me see. I'm going to check my instructions here real fast. So we are opening the Paper Pumpkin Kit, the new one, the Bouquet of Hope. And I just wanted to show you the samples or the, the cards that are supposed to be made with this kit. There is Filomena, yay, yay, yay. And here I wanted to check the different colors, the coordinating colors. Let's see. This is in English. This is in something else. That is in something else. And that looks like Chinese to me. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Look at all the beautiful alternates that they are giving us up here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this one. This one even has that vellum. They cut it in pieces. When you receive your kits, go to the back and check that out. That is beautiful. Now the coordinating stamping up colors are basic black. Bumblebee, which is that yellow that you saw on the envelope. We have Just Jade, which is this nice green. We have Merry Merlot, which is this beautiful wine color. Mossy Meadow, which is the color of our ink spot. And we have definitely Rococo Rose, which is the one I thought were this beautiful cardstock. Thank you, my dear Jennifer. Jennifer said that that is Japanese. Okay, so thank you so much. I am so not knowledgeable about languages except for spanish and english but i just got that that is japanese thank you jennifer this is beautiful so we know that we have three sets of cards here that we are going to be able to make and if you are me i usually recommend look they even give us this three they put them with the just jade so what i usually do is i take my cards and i already put them in there ready to rock and roll when I'm going to make this set, okay? Then I take my three mossy meadows and I'm going to get my three card bases for the mossy meadow. Look how beautiful that looks. The, the two colors just go together so well, so well. And I put them on the side and I know that I'm going to be using this three beautiful, they look like doilies. I love doilies. They go right there. And we have the Rococo Rose. Let me see. They go here. Okay. We have the Bumblebee. Bumblebee is going to go with the Rococo Rose. I love how they tell you what to do. Because when you are not super inspired, you just follow along and everything works out well. I know these three are going to go here. So I am preparing for when I actually make my kit. Now you have some of these beautiful, I think we have a punch haha, that does this. 
you know, the same shape. Oh my dear. Look, they sent us a bunch and I love that. They send us more than, than, than the three cards. So you have extras. Hallelujah. And I will take that. I like to position my things that I'm going to be using with the right cards. Okay. I know I'm going to be using the thinking of you with my Rococo Rose. So I can even put that together in there. I know I'm going to be using this absolutely gorgeous bouquet of flowers so I can definitely just go ahead and take them all out of there. I don't mind. <laughs> Let me just get them all and let's see how many they actually send us. Let's see. One, two, three. Come on. I wanted more. <laughs> but we have the three in there and we have this one. I'm kind of following this along. Wait, where did I put the other one? I want to know where my, this doesn't go here. This goes here. Okay. And we got some beautiful rectangles. So I usually tell my paper pumpkin peeps to prepare. Sometimes you're not in the mood of creating. At least open it and prepare your kit. And that is what I'm doing right now. Okay. This goes in the trash. And I take this three. I put them there. I know that they have some sequins. Okay. So I have all of my pinks ready here. I have all of my yellows ready here, and I have all of these ready here. I also have this ones that go with the pink Rococo card, so I could take this and put them in here. And everything is now super organized for whenever I want to sit and create with my wonderful kit. Now, when I start making my cards and my projects, I usually like to start with a stamp because at the end of the day, you end up with an ink spot with your stamp set and your instructions. That's what you end up with at the end of the day when your kit is completed and you want to create more. Now, I love telling my people, please use what you have. And if you're my subscriber, we've been doing some meetings on Zoom just to get them done. I don't want anybody to have their kits stacking up somewhere and just taking space. I want them to be used, okay? And what are you saying over there? That's what I do when I get it. Yes, Tisha. Excellent. Excellent. Because that's what I try to do so that it, even if I'm not inspired, you can at least organize them, have them ready to go so that when the inspiration hit, you can sit down 30 minutes and start some of your cards, have them all ready. Okay. Now, as I said, this coordinates very nicely with this beautiful paper, paper from Celebration Flower and Field Dissenters Paper. This is beautiful. It comes as a 12 by 12, 12 sheets, two of different designs. I'm going to put it aside because I already started some ideas here. I went ahead and cut some of this paper. You see, this is the same one. Cut some of these papers together here. At, I think it was four by five and a quarter. And I even started putting some on some card bases that are my usual size of four and a quarter by five and a half. But this is a sheet of eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and one quarter. I went one quarter less, as I said, and I started making some card bases. Now, before I go to this one, I want to go ahead and start using my beautiful stamp set and give you a very, very simple idea. Then we will bring it a little, a little bit up in the idea department. <laughs> and let me see where I put my little my little cheat sheet, okay? And then we're gonna bring it even a top notch, okay? Because I think you're gonna like it. So I'm gonna find just a piece of paper right here. Actually, I'm gonna use my paper piercing. Yep, this works better right there. Paper, paper piece, piercing pad so I can stamp with my photopolymer stamp set. I'm going to find my clear block and I definitely want to use this beautiful bouquet. That's all I could think of. My ladies, there are so many good ideas to use this. So I'm going to put it right there. Now, besides this, I want you to take a piece of cardstock and this is going to be six inches by three inches, I believe is what I did. But just in case, ta -ta 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 -ta. let me make sure I'm giving you the right answers. Maybe I'm not. Nope, this is four and a quarter by six inches. There you have it. Four and a quarter by six inches. And you're going to score in half at three. This is going to go right here at the top. 
And this is the simplest form. But before we do that, I'm going to take my mossy meadow and let's see if my mossy meadow, I don't know if my mossy meadow, this one is actually very inked or not. I like using my big ones here and there. But before I do anything, this is what I'm going to do to my card. I'm gonna turn it the other way. Let's see if it actually works nice. I'm gonna try my stamping on a scratch piece of paper. I always like doing that. That looks pretty. <laughs> and I'm going to take my card and I'm going to make a little, um, kind of like a, a border with these flowers or corners. Oh my dear. I love lined, lined stamp sets. Like, um, instead of solids, I really enjoy the line. I, I like both. Don't get me wrong. I like both. But when you get lined that you can color on, I'll, I'll show you a difference. For example, um, okay, this one. This one right here is a solid image, okay? You stamp, the image is already colored. This one right here is a line image, okay? It gives you this shape, but you can color inside. That's what I mean with line and solid images. This one's gonna stay like that, not super mega perfect, but you know what? I think I may leave it just like that. I don't know. I'll put another one here, press, press, and we're gonna put another one. Nope, I'll just leave it like that, you know what? I like it. Okay, so we're done with that part. Now, what I will do is I will take this little spot right here. And you know what? I think it needs a little bit of color. <laughs> I have Rococo Rose. So let me bring a little bit of Rococo Rose really fast. Wherever I have it. Wherever you are, come out, come out. There is Rococo Rose right here. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be it, but I'm going to cut. Oh, don't put your... <laughs> don't do that, Jessica. So we're gonna cut this at four and a quarter. I think that's what I did. By six, okay. We have one right here. Then I'm going to bring my wonderful scorer and I'm going to do this right here at three. We're going to score. This is gonna be very, very simple because I want you to see a sample with only cardstock and then a sample with, with, um, with paper. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Actually, let me stamp first. I'm gonna take this image. Where's my ink pad again? And we are going to stamp. I'm kind of off camera, so let me move a bit this way. Choo -choo -choo. There you go. It's so good to see you all in here this morning. God is so good. I'm going to take this. I'm going to stamp straight down the best I can. Hi, Gloria. Good to see you here this morning. She said, hi, Jessica, and everyone. Woo-hoo! We are stamping again. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, so now I want to take one of my sentiments and I really like this one says, sorry for your loss. I think that's a beautiful one right there. And we are in a season in our country and around the world where there is much loss. And I'm, the Lord is really inspiring us to have compassion for those who need some love. I'm going to be stamping the sorry for your loves right there and pray for those who are in the midst of these seasons. And we are going to take this super simple card, right? Super simple. But I think we can bring it up a notch with a little bit of designer shoes paper and, um, and maybe even add some embellishments. So this is going to go right here in front. Super simple, again, I'm not doing anything too crazy. If you have a cutter and you have at least two colors of cardstock, you can put them together and you can make this simple card. It opens here, sorry for your loss, but then you have more space in here. And if you wish, you could even add this one that says sharing in your sorrow on the inside and another one of these. And you know what? I'm gonna do just that. So let's go ahead and stamp this right here in the corner. 
I press and I am using my paper piercing pad because um, with the photopolymer stamp sets, it adds a bit of a cushion for that image to be crisp right there for us, okay? Let's see, let me take this from here and I'll put it in one of my other. And I'm using one ink spot for the moment, as you see. I'm keeping it very simple because I understand that not everybody has a bunch of colors, a bunch of car stocks and all that. So if you have white ink and you have your messy me mossy metal color, you can certainly make a little card like this. And it's a simple, simple card that you can create after your kit is done. Now, I want to take this same idea and I want to bring it up a notch. And the way I will do that is, let me see my little note before I go too crazy. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can go a little crazy, okay? The thing, I'm, the thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to bring one of these ones, okay? And I'm going to bring again this, and I could certainly just do the the scoring in the center. I had more of these. Give me one second. I have too many things around here. I cut many before I came before I came to meet with you. Okay, so that one is scored at three, as I said. This is a four and a quarter by six. I scored at three, and we're gonna put it right in the front. And we can make this just like that, but I decided to take it up a notch. So, let me give you some ideas. You can do the same card, just like that. Instead of stamping on the card base, on the card base right here, you can put the center source paper. Okay, then you add your little thing right here and you can embellish it, embellish it whatever, however you want. Now in this case, what I plan to do is that I'm going to use some of this new designer's choice paper that coordinates with this beautiful, beautiful bouquet of hope stamp set. And I will use my Big Shot to do something special. And this is what I will do. Oh dear Lord, where is my hairbrush? Looking around, looking around, because I need my, I need my wonderful dye that I was using to do this. <laughs> I'm always like, Lord, if you are not with me, I certainly cannot do this any longer. Okay, here you are. We have Stitch So Sweetly dies, and these dies are the ones with the beautiful scallop, and I'm going to be using this, the biggest or largest scallop rectangle to do this card. What I will do is I will take this four and a quarter by six, fold it in half at three, and we are going to put this right here to cut and make a little flip card, but with the scallop rectangle. To do that, I'm going to take a little piece of tape. You can use washi tape as well. I'm going to position it right here. Okay, you see it? And the thing that cuts my border is actually that scallop right there, but I don't wanna cut it. So I'm going to do this, okay? So I'm going to pass this right here, and I'm going to, I see you, Maria, where is my hairbrush? Yeah, that's me every Monday morning at 11 a.m. <laughs> I'm using my new stamping cut and emboss, and I am loving it. Let me put this down here and let me show you how this ended up being. I had the piece of tape back here, so I have to take that piece of tape from there. You see it? It's right here and it doesn't matter much if it takes a bit of my cardstock because this is gonna go in the back. But look how cool that is. It opens like this and it still has that stitch on the corner. Do you see it? It has that stitch right here, but it doesn't have the scallop because the scallop is what's actually cutting the cardstock. Okay, so let me put this on the side. Okay, and let's continue. Oops, I hit my card. This will go right here, okay? Now, we are going to be stamping again with Mossy Meadow, my beautiful, beautiful flower. So let's take my bouquet. Why am I so far away from the camera today? I don't know. Maybe I move things around too crazy. 
I'm going to ink well my bouquet and then I'm going to stamp it right here. Hopefully I did not smudge that because I felt like I moved it a bit. Woo, that looks beautiful. I like it a lot. Okay, so this is another way that you can certainly go ahead and add a little thing in there. Now, I want to bring a little bit of color to this because it is really, really particular. You can just leave it like that. I think it would be really cute and you can put your sentiment inside. What I like about this set, and I was talking with a friend yesterday, my friend Kathy, we thought, you know what, to be a to be sort of like a sorry for your loss type of kit, it, it looks actually very happy. This one is more a sorry for your loss for sure, but I do like that you have the opportunity to use thinking of you or I'll always be here for you for other occasions as well, okay? You can do this one for any occasion, thinking of you for any occasion. You can even use this one for a happy birthday if you have a happy birthday stamp, right? So they don't necessarily have to be used for um, loss, but they're certainly beautiful for comfort. So let me bring some of my stamping blends because honestly, this calls for a little bit more color. So I'm just going to get this and I want to find just at least some pop of color. I'm not gonna add all the colors in the whole white world, but I want to add a little bit of red. Let me see. This is Poppy Parade. And then I have some yellow in there, though I don't think I have that particular yellow I do have a daffodil delight and I have some green and though that green in here where is that where are the colors that I use that green on this paper is a let's see granny apple green okay so the paper has mossy meadow but it also has granny apple green and I think I have that one here so I may use some of the granny apple green and I'll try to do this really really fast because I don't want to get stuck with one card only but it's just so fun to get your stamping blends out now where are my other ones I have old olive I have granny apple green right there and those are the main colors that I have I have a yellow in this color paper as you can see so let me put this on the side and see if we can do a teeny bit of coloring. I'm not gonna do bunches on it, but I do wanna do a little bit of coloring in here. So I'll put it right there. And let me start with my flowers. And I'll do my flowers with the light Poppy Parade. Okay, I'll add some color to this beautiful roses. My dear, they're pretty. Again, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying lined line images this line image you can color with so many ways so ladies get creative that is what we're doing right here oh that is a pretty flower as well i think i'm gonna leave them all just for a matter of time i'm gonna leave them all the same color you can do your bouquet however you want different colors okay right now i'm just adding some of the light right here and i'm gonna add some of the dark as well in a little bit okay i can certainly take some of this one i don't have the blends but i have the inks but so i can probably watercolor them yes oh yes my dear that would be a great idea use what you have make them look beautiful don't you know just just go and look into your stash sometimes we get so excited about doing so many things at the same time and then we don't use anything that we actually bought <laughs> <laughs> Does that happen to anybody around here? Yeah, it happens to me sometimes. I get so excited. Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. And then it's like, oh, wait, everything is even gone. And I haven't even used it. So I'm using a pop of color here. Very, very kind of darker now. This is my poppy parade. Okay. And I'm putting it more on the inside of each of the petals. You see? blending it with the other ones and i'm leaving some white areas on the flowers because i don't necessarily want to fill everything with color uh oh it went off the lines does that matter <laughs> i don't think it matters it's okay nobody minds but this is one of those beautiful beautiful stamp sets that you can use over and over again i think that's going to be a great idea since um hey lots to do here okay let's put some color on some of these leaves right here and this should coordinate 
a bit. You know what? I'm not sure if I use the right red with this card, but I have the Poppy Parade. I also have the Cherry Cobbler. This may be Cherry Cobbler. I should check again if it's Cherry Cobbler. Um, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Just putting some in there. Wow, that may be Cherry Cobbler, and I totally ignore that. Let's see. Yep, Cherry Cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you jesus i had light cherry color and the cool thing about the blender pens is you can keep adding color if you wish wherever you wish and you don't have to apologize you can keep adding now remember this will bleed a bit on the back at this point i don't really mind much so don't mind me i'm going to find my cherry color that is dark Hopefully it's around here. Yep, this is my dark cherry cobbler. And let's see how it looks in this beautiful, beautiful bowl right here. Okay, I, I was not even sure I was going to do this on camera today, but I wanted to give you a little head, heads up of what you can do with this beautiful, beautiful set. I want to go ahead and find some of my pool party and I like putting a little bit of blue around just to make it look like they are floating in the air okay just like that we have some color I added some color and not so much color to everything I can go back and make everything way more detailed I think you are more detailed than I am I am here to provide you with inspiration and ideas and I want you to feel free to make them yours and to make them beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And to make them even prettier than what I'm doing. You don't you don't have to stay with what I'm doing, but I think that adds a lot of great color to it. Like you said, you could certainly use some of the um some of the watercolors with the ink spots. Look how pretty that looks. So very, very different feeling, right? With this card from the other one that I made and I have no idea where I put, where did I put it? Right here. Very, very different, super, super simple. This one, I don't have as much on it. If you have, this one has some coloring and some nice designer shoes paper. And what was my last idea? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's make one more because this is way too fun. Okay, I'll make one more. I already have this here. I already have, let me see. I have some of this ones already ready for me. And I think something very cute could be to add some ribbon to this. That would be a good idea if I actually cut my paper the right way. I could add ribbon on this side. Did I bring any ribbon? Ooh, this is perfect. And this would be even more perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ribbon this way. Looky, 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 looky. I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna cut my ribbon up here. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add. So this one is a little bit more elaborate. Okay. Right there, you can mix and match, do whatever you want with your alternate but what I love doing usually on the first video with a paper pumpkin kit is to bring your ideas with the stamp sets because everything else will be gone everything else will be gone at some point oh well Jessica if you learn to do a very good bow that would be a very good idea yep I'm not making a good bow <laughs> I'm mercy who loves making bows come on raise your hand say I love it yeah or Jessica I'll just leave it to you <laughs> I know many of you are not bow lovers, but I love ribbon. I love fabric. I just stick with paper because I, I honestly, I have enough crafts in my life, enough things. My daughter loves jewelry. The other one loves Legos. The other one loves stuffed animals. And everybody likes collecting something in this house. And if I also have... Um, fabric around the house I'm not so sure we're gonna survive okay this is gonna get bad <laughs> so this is absolutely gorgeous I think this is something I want to do so give me a second because <laughs> I just had an idea okay I don't know where I put my I think this is not wet I honestly don't think it's wet let me check if it is 
It's just a little bit, little tiny bit wet. I may be able to clean it. You have trouble with bows, Didi. Ah, have mercy. Sometimes it's hard. And you know what? If something doesn't bring you joy, you don't use it. I try to go for things that make me happy, 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 happy. If something is giving me trouble and stress, it's out the window. Okay, so we have this here. And what I plan to do is that this time I'm going to actually stamp my flowers with black. Okay, I'm going to stamp them with black. And you can do way more. I'll bring more ideas another day today. I wanted to keep it very simple. I have so many ideas, but I think simple is good. I'm gonna kinda twist it to the side a bit. I don't know if I had a lot of color right there, so this may work nice or not. But you're gonna see it pretty, right? Pretty! <laughs> and something that I've been wanting to do, and I may do with this, is... Uh, hmm. I like it just like this, my ladies, but I had a, a thing in mind, so I'm looking at it like, oh, what else can I add to this? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to add some beautiful, beautiful ink colors right here, ink color enamel dots, if I can actually get them with some new putty right there. Okay, let me get them out of there. Pick them up, Jessica. You're trying to do your best. And I think putting one right there is going to look really cute. And um, let me see if I can put one right here. It's going to look really cute. And maybe I can put another one. Let's see. I don't know. Right here is good too. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of... A little bit of something, but what I'm missing is I want to bring some color, but you're gonna see me doing something a little, little cuckoo here for a minute. And what I'm doing is that I'm looking for all the blues that I have in this box. Okay, we're gonna have blue, a blue party, blue party right there. Woohoo! Those are all the blues that I have so far. I'm not gonna use anything else except for blues because they are cute, they are pretty, and I think we can do something very nice with this. So I'm gonna put my card to the side and I'm going to, um, I'm going to color in blue. And here I have light pretty peacock, light um, pool party. This must be my, not light, my dark pretty peacock. I have Misty, yeah, light, misty, moonlight, moonlight. This is my seaside spray, beautiful. Seaside dark, this is my dark Bermuda Bay. This is my light Bermuda Bay. This is my light just jade. This is my dark pool party. And this is my dark something else my dark misty moonlight so I have all my darks and I have all my lights and I'm going to go with all the very lights okay and I'm gonna start adding some color to some of these flowers just with um with the the light and this is seaside spray okay now this paper is the inspiration right now because it has some it has some seaside in there, so I'm just using that for the flowers. It has some blue. Okay, nothing too fancy. Okay, wait, did I put, what are these? These are my lights. What is this? Dark, dark space over there. And these are my light. Okay, I have light pool party and I have, wow, that is very neat. This is my dark. Why is it dark in here? I'm supposed to have my lights. Stay over there. <laughs> they are alive. They are alive. <laughs> they are alive, ladies. Okay, so I'm going to add some color to this one around here. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Look how pretty that looks. This is the pretty peacock, the light pretty peacock, okay? And I'm just adding different ones right there. I may add a little bit of light pre peacock on this bow on the back. And we are kind of using um, colors 
all the lights, okay, on on a certain, and the color wheel is all gonna be blues, because I want a blue, blue bouquet of hope. We are to bring hope. And you know what, this year the Lord's been so good to me, just clarifying what I am to do with Stamp of Blessing and uh, showing me that really my my biggest maybe gifting or where I feel I am stronger is in encouraging people. It just naturally comes out of me. I love encouraging others even when I am even when I am down. It actually brings me up to encourage others. So I do it often even if I'm not feeling good. Um, I will encourage because I believe that God is good and His goodness will pursue me and He will pursue you as well. So I'm here adding some nice little color. You know what? This just jade is greenish, but it also is bluish. So I'm going to add some to the leaves, okay? And this bouquet of hope is so perfect for what we do as Christians. We are encouragers. And I believe that pretty much everybody that is a stamper that sends cards want to encourage others i have found that that is what brings me a lot of joy and this is why i i'm stuck making cards even though um i love doing many other things as well it brings me so much joy to um to prepare things and you know what i'm gonna have oh look at this isn't that cool i can add a little bit of color to all of this one so don't be afraid of trying new things okay I'm adding I kind of pick up all my different blues that look blue to me dark pool party okay so now I think I'm starting with all the darker ones okay no I have Bermuda Bermuda is gonna come here in this tiny ones because this is a little bit more of a happy color it's a little bit more um, intense I would say so I'm gonna use it just for this tiny little flowers around here and if you if you think too much about it you won't you won't do this okay you you can't think it too much just go for it <laughs> if you ask me Jessica did you try this before no I did not I, I did not I decided that I'm playing with my friends and I am having fun right here this is my seaside spray and I'm adding some colors to my flowers I think this is really good to do. I'm leaving some white still around. I'm not covering everything because I feel it gives it a little watercolor effect when you leave some white, okay? I know, I know now you're thinking, okay, what colors do I have and where are they? <laughs> do I have watercolor pencils? Do I have a brush? Do I have inks? Use whatever. Use whatever, but have fun with this set. I think it's looking gorgeous, don't you think? It is, it is. Okay, no, 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 no. Now I have Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock is way too pretty. Where did I use it before? I don't know. I think around here we can put some Pretty Peacock close to the center of this flower. Right there. And then same here. Kind of like just following the, the lines. Okay, so I'm following the lines of this flower. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just following the lines a bit. I'm gonna follow the lines a bit on this one as well. Nothing too crazy, and I'm just doing it on the big ones. So this color is gorgeous. And you know what, you may think, oh, th all those blues don't go together, but I think they do. <laughs> I think they do, they look pretty cool, don't you think? They look pretty cool. Okay, I need my light just jade once more. I think this kind of puts it all together. Look how beautiful it looks. And uh, I have some more over here, and I think I'm going to be coloring this little blue ribbon a little bit more around here. Last but not least, I love bringing my pool party around and making a little bit of a shade. I could also do this with a soft, um, like the smoky slate. I could do that with the smoky slate as well. It just brings the image a little bit higher on your paper, like if it's floating. So it doesn't look like it's flat. It makes it look a little bit more 3D. Don't you think? 
that would be really cool. So this this line image totally calls for for coloring somehow. And if you like it just um, stamped, that is totally fine as well. I am liking doing this. I'm going to finish this card. Where is it? Right here. And we brought this one up a bit just by coloring, by putting some little um, things in there. I feel like I need more. <laughs> putting some ribbon and you can do you, okay? Then in the inside, you can put whatever message you wish to put. Not all of them need to say sorry for your loss. If you want to use this for a different occasion, you certainly can. The paper helps. It is very nice. And the coolest thing is it has sort of like a more serious theme in the back and then more happy on the other side. So you can use both. You see this one's very happy. This one's more serious, happy. And like I said, this one is which one? I love the blue. I should have used this paper with that, don't you think? <laughs> Monochromatic flower bouquet. Thank you, Maria. That's exactly what I did. I really like them. I think this is a beautiful kit. I think you're going to love creating with it and you can go super simple. You could also, instead of, um, if you don't have a die cutting machine, you can cut this. You can, you can color this as well, even in the pink cardstock, Rococo Rose, and you can make your own backgrounds if you wish, or just put some pretty paper on top and then some pretty ribbon and some little embellishments and you have beautiful cards with bouquets for any occasion. I love that from Paper Pumpkin and I'm going to turn my camera around. I wanna share a word of encouragement and hope since we are talking about Paper Pumpkin bouquet of hope for this month. I was so praying this morning and the story in Matthew 16 came to mind and I started checking on it. It's, when, it's Peter's confession of Christ, okay? It says, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Then he said, but what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. That is a fabulous portion of scripture. You can keep reading about it and all that he can do. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. But I love when he said, and on this rock, because I actually made a note to myself on my Bible. I write on my Bible things that the Lord gives me. And it says, on this rock of revelation and understanding. And I believe that the Lord is building his church even in such a season as this. He is building your life and he is building my life. But this happens while you're spending time with him and being open and listening to his revelation. Why do you need revelation? You want, you need, we all need to hear the voice of God and to know the heart of God. In Hosea, verse 4, 6 says, and I think I found it in here for you. It actually says, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I also reject you as my priest because you have ignored the law of God. So if you have no knowledge of God, if you have no revelation, no understanding of his ways and more importantly, his heart, then we perish. Then we live but we live like dead people. We don't live abundantly like he wants us to live. And the word of God is so good. Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may follow all the words of this law. And in Psalm 25, 14 says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. There is so many parts in the scripture that says that God wants to reveal himself to us 
And I will ask you today, are you listening? Are you like Peter that wants that revelation of the Son of God? They all believe that Jesus was amazing. They all believe that he may be a prophet. They all believe that he was like out of this world. Hello, everybody knew that. But only Peter had the courage to say, you are the Christ, you are the son of the living God, because the Father revealed that to him. God is looking for people that want to receive his revelation. So I'm going to encourage you to go to the word, to read it every single day, like you eat your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. Get in the word of God and pray, God, reveal yourself to me. There's so much I do not understand, but if you reveal yourself to me, things are so much better so much more awesome and i know that god needs you to reveal his truth to other people so please will you follow his calling in your life will you be obedient and listening to what he's revealing to you go ahead and say yes lord whatever you say to do i will do i am here lord i want to go where you go and do as you say to do. So God bless you, my ladies. I believe that the secrets of God are for you. He has you in his heart and his mind. And I know something, his word always brings life, rejoicing and peace. So stay together in the word of God. I love you. I'll go back to check on your messages. I haven't been able to check many of them today. Hope you enjoyed this project. Super simple for you to make them wow because you have the creativity of God in your hearts and in your hands. God bless. I'll be back next Monday. Subscribe to my channel in YouTube, Stamp a Blessing, and go follow me on Facebook group, Stamp a Blessing as well. That's where we chat and share a lot of things. I love you. Bye-bye.